In this video, we're going to learn about the Recycler view in Android. I'm going to create a simple application displaying 5 TV shows and the respective covers. First, go to your app level Gradle file, add the two dependencies Recycler view and Card view. Click on Sync now. Let's first design the main activity. First, I'm going to change the constraint layout to linear layout. Change the height to wrap content. Inside the scroll view, we're going to add a recycler view with width as match parent and height as wrap content. Give it any ID you want and set Android scroll bars to vertical. In a particular recycler view, each item is going to be following a blueprint and that blueprint it is represented by this XML file. I have named it list item. The parent layout is going to be the linear layout and we are going to keep the layout height as wrap content. Inside the card view, we're going to have another linear layout with the width as match parent and height as wrap content. We're going to set the orientation of this linear layout to horizontal. Inside our card view, we're going to have two views. One image view to display the image of the TV show and one text view to tell us what the TV show is. We're going to keep Android layout gravity as center for both the views. In more complex layouts, the card view is going to have many more views than just two. In those cases, relative layout should be more useful. I'm going to create a new class called TV Show. Since we have only two views inside the card view, we are going to create two variables over here. One is going to be a string and one is going to be an integer. After you have created the global variables, click on Alt Insert and click on Getters and Setters. Select both the variables and click on OK. We are going to create yet another class and name it Data Source. Create two arrays in this class. One is going to be a string and one is going to be an int. In these arrays, we're going to store data that is then going to be fed into the recycler view, which is going to be displayed on the app. Inside the string array, I have named five TV shows. Inside the integer array, I have named 5 pictures which I have given in the drawable folder. Creating a function called create list items with the return type as a list of the type TV show. I'm creating another list called items inside the function.
to that I'm running a for loop 5 times since we have 5 items inside the arrays. I'm creating another instance of the class TV show by writing TV show, TV show is equal to new TV show. I'm passing the data inside the arrays through the instance of the class TV show and hence TV show dot set TV show and TV show dot set image TV show. After setting both the TV show and the image TV show, we're gonna add this instance of the class to the list called items. After that is over, we're returning the list called items. For every recycler view, we need to have an adapter. In this case, we're creating another class called TV show adapter. We're gonna create a subclass called view holder. Extend this class to recycler view dot view holder. Since we have two views inside the card view, we're gonna declare two views, image view and text view. Create a constructor called view holder inside this inner class. Have the parameters as a view and name it item view. Inside the function, we have the super function and we are passing item view inside it. We're referencing both the image view and the text view by using the find view by id method. Extend the outer class to recycler view dot adapter and inside TV show adapter dot view holder. Click on alt insert and click on implement methods. Select the three methods that are shown and click on enter. Create a variable called TV show list, which is a list of the type TV show. Now create a constructor with the list as a parameter. Inside the constructor, assign the local variable to the global variable. Inside the on create view holder method, we're going to type the following line view view is equal to layout inflator dot from parent dot get context dot inflate r dot layout dot list item that is the list item blueprint that we created earlier, comma false. We're also creating an object called view holder of the view holder that we just created and we're returning this view holder. Inside the on bind view holder method, we're gonna set the data that is required. So first, we're gonna create an instance of the TV show class. After that, we're gonna set the data holder dot text TV show dot set text TV show dot get TV show, and then we're gonna set the image of the TV show holder dot image TV show dot set image resource TV show dot get image TV show. Inside the get item count method, we're gonna return the size of the TV show list. Now in the main activity dot java file, we're gonna create three variables. One for the recycler view, one for the adapter, and one array list of the type TV show. TV shows is equal to array list of data source dot create list items. This calls a function inside the class data source and puts all the items inside the array list TV shows. First, reference the TV show variable by using the find view by id r dot id dot TV shows method. After that, TV shows dot set layout manager new linear layout manager in brackets this. TV shows dot set item animator new default item animator. TV shows dot set adapter TV shows adapter. Make sure the names of all the pictures in the drawable folder are all with small letters. So after changing that, we're all set to go. I'm going to run the app now. As you can see, we have five items in the recycler view, 
of the same blueprint that we created earlier. We have the name of the TV show on the right hand side and the image of the TV show on the left hand side. But as you can notice, when you click the item, nothing happens. That is one of the major click events in a recycler view. So let's have a look at how to do that. Let's give the card view an ID. Inside the TV show adapter class, inside the view holder class, we are creating another variable called card view, called CV and referencing it inside the view holder. Now in the on bind view holder method, we are going to create the on set, set on click listener for the CV and inside the set on click listener, we are going to display a simple toast. In the toast, we are going to display the position is and going to display the position of the card view that has been clicked. One more thing required for a toast is the context. Let's get the context in the on create view holder method and use the context in the toast. And that's it. When you run the app and click on any one of the card views, you can see the toast. Now I've created a new game and I request all of you to please go on and uh, play it. It's an Android game and it's called R3D. It's a really fun game so I hope you guys will play it and uh, you can give the feedback in the comments below. Thank you.